Hey guys, welcome back to another live game. Q I'm in today we're playing some Kane Jungle. Haven't played Kane in a while, so I figured we'd whip him out again. He's not that bad, honestly, right now. He's not a terrible jungle pick. In fact, he's he's good. He's fine. You know, if, if you're a Kane player, you can absolutely play Kane. He's not a troll pick. You'll be fine with him and Yeah, all that lovely business. So we're gonna be playing I don't know, we don't wanna go red or blue cane this game. Both of them are good, honestly. I actually think Blue cane is pretty busted, so I might be doing that, but at the same time, maybe not. We'll see. So I'm gonna get in the. Ah, damn it! I'm gonna be doing more of an AOE clear this game because Kane's very good at doing AOE clears. So I'm gonna be blasting my way through these chickens. Most champions do not want to take the chickens this early on into the game. Kane is an exception to that rule. Kane loves taking chickens. He's very good at doing that, so take them where you can. At level 2, guys, get your E when you're clearing, because when you walk through walls like this... Look at that, I got 100 health. The health I get back from doing that is way more than the health I will be saving by having W and clearing slightly faster. W damage is about an auto attack's worth of damage. So just get your E second. I failed it on this chicken camp, but you can see I'm pretty healthy regardless. I didn't even need to use my... Didn't even need to use my potion. I still did, but I didn't need to. Alright, we'll get this uh, blue buff, and then I might look into Eve's jungle and see where she's at. She's another champion that's good AoE clears, so... I'd like to nick her chickens, but she may have already taken them. Here are my runes, guys, for today's gameplay. Oh, she's actually topside. She is level 3 already. But I think I can get her here. Beautiful. Excellente. So here are my runes, guys. I've gone for the ex uh, Electrocute. Sudden Impact works off of my Q and my E. Zombie Ward is just good for junglers in general. Uh, and then Ravenous Hunter, because if I do want to go Red red Cane, I think that one's really nice. If not, Ultimate Hunter's fine too. Right, let's knock about here and see whether or not we can get a, a gank here with TF. That's fine. I mean, Chef did flash that, but that's still fine. Let's see if I can go bot size one. Well. I'm being quite aggro this uh, slain phase. Ooh, if this crab's up, I'll take that instead. For my secondary tree, by the way, I've kind of just gone for walking celerity because it's pretty good standard. <laughs> but you, you can do other things if you want to. I've already said that, mate. Let's try and get in here and stop the E from counter ganking. Maxing Q or W, by the way, I think is a total preference. I much prefer W max. I feel like when I max. Wait. <laughs> I prefer W because it's more burst damage. But it's kind of up to you, you know, if you're a cane player and you're like, oh wait, I really like maxing Q, am I doing it wrong? No, you're not doing it wrong. Gonna keep clearing here, boys. We want a decent amount of gold. I don't want to overstay too much and, you know, be low on health and all that malarkey. But, <sighs> just gonna keep clearing here, boys, and then we can head bot side after we've done our jungle. Because our red buff will be respawning relatively soon. That will allow us to try and maybe snowball our bot lane even more. Give this Lucian a kill if we can, because yo, if I if I if our Lucian gets ahead, he can win lane, so I want to make sure that if that's possible that we can absolutely lean into that kind of thing. Alright, I'm gonna go for eesh. 
I'm actually going to go for a blue smite. Uh, I'm feeling... I'm actually feeling the red cane, so we'll go, we'll go red smite here. Blue smite, red smite, pretty preferential, though I would say if you're going for blue cane, go blue smite. I think blue is better for blue cane, red is better for red cane, but blue is, for, in my opinion, blue is like core on blue cane. Because it, it means that you can get your ultimate off just by hitting. Uh, smiting someone, and then it makes your, you you add an extra kind of bit of burst to your combo. It's just really nice, honestly, to go blue smite on blue king. Alright, now bot lane is pushing up quite a lot here. So we're just going to head around, because Eve will probably be there. There she is. Might have honestly got her a bit too late, honestly. It's a bit unfortunate. We kind of saw it come in, but we weren't able to get there in time. Should have pinged my lane a little bit there and told them to be careful. But they were not careful, and they died. I don't know why she's there, honestly. You gotta see that one coming, mate. You've gotta see that one coming, buddy. Don't forget about your crowd camp, especially if you're good at AoE clearing. Crowd camp gives you a crap ton of experience, so... Oh my lordy. <laughs> Yo, he... <laughs> that, is a, that is a zero counter play gang right there. I had a feeling he might try that. <laughs> Which is why I walked behind and queued out. Although I guess with my E, Humble Trespass, I, or Shadow Step, Humble Trespass Multi. Doesn't matter, but yes. Let's not get those space aids on us. And we'll take this farm, shall we? I'm happy with this. Yeah, I need to recall here, man. I've got so much gold, I can afford my 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 red my warrior enchant. Yeah, nice. Nice one TF mate. So we're going to go for a War Enchant into Black Cleaver. So we can just stack those long swords for now. Good gank TF mate, you also saved top lane. That's the underrated thing about this TF ulti. Is he just saves his bot, he saved his top lane with that as well. Gave the vision over onto Eve. Like really, really nice. Hmm. I think I'm going to go top here. Yeah, this should be a nice kill. Ooh. Not sure I needed to flash that one, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I needed to. That's my bad. I love that sound effect. Just get some vision down in that jungle there. Obviously, standard wards don't see Eve. But if you ward the camp, then you will be able to see her. As she's clearing them out. Can I get this Yasuo? I learned from a young age to Come on. I tried to ulti. Oh gosh, is that someone there? Am I crazy? No. Okay. I am crazy. Darkness is a start. 
Oh, he saw me. Well, I'm the top lane now. Just hope Eve isn't here. I still fancy this. I still want to find a way to get this kill. Always oh, got a conqueror now. Nice. That's a good kill. Yeah, we push it into tower. Get it into tower, man. Don't be greedy. Of course. <laughs> we we'll get that first blood tower. I'll even give him first blood tower if he wants it. Well, actually, yes. Whatever. But still, there you go. Beautiful stuff. All right. Sitting on 1,900 gold here. So I can get my tattoo boots and phage. Now, the question of Titty Boots is always do you go Merc Treads or do you go Ninja Tabby? Uh, and this game, I think this is a Merc Treads game. But I've bought Ninja Tabby. <laughs> Whoops, the daisy. <laughs> That's a default setting. I mean, to be honest, on Red Cane, you can't really go wrong with Ninja. I feel like Mercs, the tankier you are, the less important Mercs are because you don't really care as much about not getting cc'd because i mean what does it matter if you get cc'd you can eat you're kind of meant to eat cc as a tank but it's still you know it's still obviously helpful and obviously you don't really want to itemize ninja tabby or mercs depending on armor or magic resist because they give so little armor and magic resist it's horrifically gold inefficient to be doing that like 25 MR I get from Merc Treads, but the item cost me like 1200 gold. I think it's 1100, isn't it? I can't remember. It is 1100 now, yeah. So 1100 gold for 25 MR, which is the same as a non magic mantle. If I want 25 MR, just spend 400 gold on the non magic mantle and save yourself the extra grand, you know? Or grand, 500, I guess. The red buff just spawned as well. Yeah, actually, maybe that's something that's really bad for me this game. I've not put, like, any focus on that Inferno at all. Despite the fact that my bot lane's actually doing pretty well. I think I definitely could have put focus on that uh, Inferno. No. Ouch. Oof. Sort of an unnecessary ulti from my half there. Oh no, not like this. Oh my god, as I put my hero down, he gated out. That's so bad. That is so bad. <sighs> oh my god, that is not nice. Oh well, that is a that is a feels bad man moment. That is a pure feels bad man moment. I think I, I should have waited. I should have waited with my herald. She, I, I saw him. I saw him use the gate. I saw him. I saw him press alt there. I saw TF open up destiny, and I I just should have waited because there's obviously a chance he's. Yeah, that's my bad. Well, it's sort of miscommunication, but I'm yeah. Fuck me. I think we're actually gonna leave Red Buff for Lucian now. 
Let's take the chickens and then we'll go to Infernal because these take me like two seconds. Who else is here? Oh, that's cheeky. Oh, come off it. What do you reckon, boys? I don't have my smite. What can I combo this with? Oh, wait, he could just kill me. Never mind. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Nice. Who got the blue, though? TF! Beautiful. It's actually perfect. Where are you going, buddy? That's okay. We did fine. We did fine. Whew. All right, it's working, lads. It's working. All right, we can get this uh, red buff here. And then, do I want some MR? Do I want some armor? I think I should get some armor, but I kind of need bow. So, I think I might... What I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to go into the... GA, that would be my armor. Uh, GA gives you a decent amount of armor nowadays. 40 armor is not that bad, honestly. Dead Man's Plate is 60, Randuin's is 60, Thormel is 80, Sunfire Cape is 60. So, like, the, the, the average um, armor item gives you, like, 60 armor. And GA gives you, like, 40, which is not terrible considering what it what else it gives you, you know, you're like 20 armor down, you're like a cloth armor down. Oh, sorry. That's what I really dislike about playing versus Bard, is they're all so bloody cocky. Because they're quite... The, the E that they have makes them quite slippery. So they're just always in your face. It's just irritating. It's like, get out of my face, you dickhead. Kind of my bad. I shouldn't have. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have uh, had. Tiff shouldn't have had to flash that one. Really towers on me as well. <laughs> My only hope to survive that one 
was to hit that W on Mel's and then ult into him and jump out. That would drop the tower. Oh, I had to stop watching as well, actually. That wouldn't have saved me, though. Because if I ulted into Mel's there, then I would have... Nice. I would have got the healing when I come out. Because you get a lot of healing when you ult people on uh, red, red cane. She has no ult, right? Did she use it before? I think she used it already. Whew. Okay. That was a bit soppy, though. I got under the tower. That was my bad. It's still good again. That's very that's terrible English by the way. Clean Very nice, very nice. This is kind of greedy if we stay here, but I'm feeling it. Okay, I shouldn't have slid out that way, actually. <laughs> the problem with sliding out that way is, you know, the easiest way for the guy to survive is to get back to his... To run to base, right? So I should have slid out the other way. Then that way, at least he'd have to run towards Singed if he was trying to escape, which would decrease his chances of actually escaping. Am I inting? No, I'm fine. I've got my GA here. I should go buy that. The big difference between Eve and I this game. The big difference at least. Let's get some MR now. Go for that visage. Uh, is the fact that I've got a lot of farm and she hasn't. I have 160 farm, she has 116. So I'm farming well, she's not farming so well. She's 50 CS down, which is a pretty big deficit. And that's that's the reason why she's two levels down on me. I mean, if you look at her kill participation, she's ex almost identical to me. I've got one more assist, that's it. I mean, she. the other thing that we've been doing different this game is the fact that she's dying a lot and I'm not dying as much, but she's taking more risky plays and his positioning isn't as good. But either way, you know, the two levels is, is purely a thing to do with my farm. TF has his ultimate up. He should ult top. Can TF kill? He should be able to kill Kaiser there, actually. I'm okay tanking this. I'm actually so bad at this game. I didn't realize I was that low on health. Holy crap, I'm actually busted. Oh my goodness, Mouse is here as well. Get me out of here. This is hard splitting as well. Cheeky. Gonna recall for Kaiser here. I don't have my ulti though. Do I need it for her? Not sure. We'll see. We lost. Oh, we didn't lose Lucian actually. Okay. Either way, 
three people pushed up here. Kaiser's probably on her way back now. And people are respawning, so we need to be careful in that bot lane. I'm actually going to go for another wave here. We're kind of resetting as a team, right? Like, we've got three people recalling. So I don't need to be on the map really here. I can just keep pushing. The only risky thing about doing this, obviously, is like who else could be here. Because I'm, I'm quite exposed. But we see on the mini-map a lot of people are around that bot side. I'm not really afraid of anyone individually or specifically. Level 16, that is... Wow, I'm, I'm ridiculously high level. Holy crap. Two levels up on anyone on my team. It is crazy. Am I gonna die to Mao's stuff here? Nope, I'm good. That ulti is actually insane. <laughs> I healed so much from that. This is why I've gone Ravenous Hunter as well. You can see I'm 4 out of 5. Who do I need? Bard. I'm, I'm getting healing from my abilities here. Right now I'm at 12.5% healing, which is great because that's basically what I do anyway. I, I heal for 42% of damage I deal to champions. So, I, I do a crazy amount of healing. And then I just have even more with Ravenous Hunter. It's quite nutty, actually. Alright, Visage is coming up. Uh, maybe it's actually better to go... Well, see, if I wasn't playing Kane or Rast, I guess, specifically. If it wasn't Rast, then I would honestly say, yeah, it's probably better. Or am I inting? No, I'm good. Give me that assist, baby. Okay. If I wasn't playing Kane, I would say Adaptive would be better here. Because they have uh, Kaiser, Maus, and Eve. Maybe I should still go for it. I don't know. But Kaiser's Q is like. So, so Adaptive Helm is going to reduce damage I take from the same thing. So it's basically like damage over time or things like Kaiser's Q. So Kaiser's Q. Eve Q, Malzahar E, Malzahar Ulti, like Adaptive Helm is really good versus those things. So, but the reason I am not going for that is because the healing you get from Visage is crazy. You get like 30% healing. It's like, yo, that's so good for Kane. Because Kane, Red Kane is all about that healing, baby. Team, what are we doing? As if I had get 16 AD while being in the river here, that's crazy because of water walking. Okay, problem here is random people are just dying for no reason, and then we're forcing fights after that's happened. Just chill out. Like, I shouldn't have even grouped there. We are just full-on suiciding here for no reason. Nothing nothing good's coming out of this. Nothing good could possibly come out of this. Just, we just need to chill out. And right now we're just... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why we're doing that. It's ridiculous. And it's annoying that this Yasuo is so much stronger than our Singed because, yo, I, I screw that Yasuo over pretty hard. But that's kind of just Yasuo for you, I guess. It's annoying! I, I, I used to perma-ban Yasuo because of, because of what you're seeing here. He's very irritating to play against. But then, Pike started becoming a huge problem. If there was a Pike on the enemy team, not only would he win his lane, but then... Or, like, there was a good chance he would win his lane, and then he starts roaming around and... You know, that's... He then becomes very pro pro problematic. It's just like... But now... So I started banning Pike. And now bloody... 
the game I ban Pike, and there's a Yasuo doing things that I ban Yasuo because of. Is he dead? Uh, there was a Mazahar pushing top, and I wondered whether he would kill him there. <clears throat> I've got to get it here, actually. That's good. I mean... They just turned into us there, didn't they? Suiciding, and then... Astro jumps in for god knows why. <laughs> god knows what reason. <laughs> don't know whether we can get this though. We might be able to. Oh, that was so close. Oh, why did I... <sighs> why do we go in there and why did I follow with... I just lost my GA and my flash because of that. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. Not the end of the world. I can join this fight. I've still got my ultimate. OT! I didn't have my, didn't have mana. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, what am I gonna get last here? Do I need some armor? Maybe. I'm not sure. Nice. Uh, I don't know if I need the armor though. Maybe I do. Maybe I just need to go round wins with maybe Thormel, honestly. Thormel might be nice. The reason why I'm considering Thormel or Randwins is because they have a lot of crit coming out of Yasuo. Uh, and I want to reduce their attack speed as well, which Randwins does. Uh, but Thormel is a similar thing where it gets rid of attack speed, not so much the crit, but the attack speed and the healing as well coming out of these guys. Kaiser especially is getting a lot of healing. There's a redemption here too. Summoner heals. Maybe I should just go for the Thormel. But that does not help me very much versus... <laughs> versus the Malzahar and the Eve and the magic damage out of Kaiser. So... I could... No one buys Stoneplate anymore. Because I could go Stoneplate as well. I mean, I could actually go like Scimitar, I could go Merc. So maybe I just need more MR still, honestly. Maybe Scimitar would be a good choice here. It's good versus Mouse, obviously. It's a really good Bard ulti. Oh boy, this could now get very scary. Fuck! God damn it, he flashed on me. Why do we engage? Can we please? I beg of you, stop engaging after we have lost someone I beg of you team use that time to chill the F out look at all that magic damage I'm taking maybe I don't want them. oh man it's so tough actually I need Sterex I need Sterex that's what I'm gonna go go for yeah Sterex let's go baby I, I forgot about this item I knew 
When I, I was looking at the items, or I was, when I was explaining them, I was thinking about them, and I was like, I'm sure I'm, I'm like, forgetting something, but... Is that getting... Did we just lose? Come on! God damn it! That's when I thought I had a good game. Oh, we surrendered anyway. How do we lose that game? I was that was the cleanest jungle phase I've had in such a long time. Such an advantage over Eve. Eve was like fucking feeding her ass off. Mate, but that's that honestly, okay. That that's oh man, I, I messed up my my thingy. Sorry, lads. My was my camera always like that? Sorry if it was. But boys! Come on. We just that this is a standard, classic. Classic, typical, low diamond game. Which is what my MMR is at. Fucking Eve as well, by the way. Busted champion. Like, zero use of the brain whatsoever. Th th so, this is the thing where... No. No. <laughs> Don't you... Even dare... <laughs> talk about the enemy team... We lost this ourselves. 100%. Had nothing to do with the enemy team there at all. That was all us. All of that was us. I mean, not, not to say the enemy team sucks but, or anything like that. But you can't say, oh, how dare that person on the enemy team. I know I also said he was busted at the end of that game there. But we'll ignore that part. But I'm not blaming, you know, oh, he was just so strong. No. We just sucked, okay? Anyway, sorry, that was a little bit of a rant there. But, okay, either way, this game was just diabolical suicide after suicide after suicide after suicide, and then engaging after you lose someone, terrible ideas. But, okay, so here's the thing, right? I can sit here and I can cry and I can complain about this, right? I can complain about how this happened and all that rubbish, yeah? But, at the end of the day, what good does that do me? Not much, okay, so... How about we start thinking about it a bit more from the perspective of, right, that sucks, that was awful, I feel like I had a pretty good game here, why did I lose even though I had a good game? What were the things that I did that actually weren't as good as they needed to be that lost me this game? And I feel like the biggest one here, and I say this quite a lot honestly, and I still don't do it, but I need to do it more, and I need to get in the habit of doing it, and you guys should as well, is direct your team. Do not trust your team to sort themselves out and to use their brain because they won't or there is a chance that they won't you know if we lose someone and we're in a bad spot i t what i tend to do what i have a habit of doing is just like going with the team and being like oh gosh this this seems like a bad idea but doing it anyway no spam ping your teammates to go back tell them ping you're being stupid <laughs> stop this <laughs> go back leave this place never return or return when you've got your teammate back, you know? And when someone's walking in a position, like right there when we lost to Lucian at the end. Like, Lucian's in a, in a bad spot. He suicides. Well, he suicide. You know, he gets picked off by Eve. When you see Lucian in that spot and you know there's an evil enemy team, yes, obviously it's Lucian's responsibility. But if you see him walking out like that, spam ping him like, care of Eve, mate. Be care of Eve, buddy. Maybe he just switched his brain off or something like that for a few seconds. You know, you've got to get... I've got to get into the habit of doing this. I've really got to get in the habit of doing that because, you know, I look after myself and when I'm recording or streaming or whatever, my my brain is not fully on. So I, I have enough issues inting my, my own games away, you know, playing poorly myself. I don't really have the brain capacity or I struggle to have the brain capacity to then control what other people are doing. I just need to focus a little bit more. But guys, if you're taking anything away from these games, you have to organize your team more, you know? Whew. That's a tough one to lose. You don't want to lose those games. Shouldn't have lost that one at all. That should have been a really, really easy win. Had such a good lane phase. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Better jungler wins. Capital pride. You know how it is. Could have won though. Organize your team. Organize your team. If your team is suicide like that, you just got to communicate with them. And not only telling them what not to do, but also tell them what to do. You know, like, is it a good time to group mid? Is it a good time to go for Baron? Communicate that with your team. Tell your team what to do. Organize your team. You know, if you just do what I do, which is when you don't organize your team, bad stuff happens just like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. Thumbs up.
If you liked it, subscribe to me for more, and I will see you in my next, we'll get them next time, video.